Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Twisted Grove, a land of nature and ruin. Today, I shall be constructing a ruined lumber yard. I use a combination of oak, wood, and logs, along with cobblestone and wooden fences to create the structures I have for you today. The structures consist of two refined wood platforms, two sawmills, and three guard towers, along with a slabbed road with lights. So as you may have noticed there, it took me about 11 different prototypes of a lamppost to actually get something that I liked. I wanted to make something that was a bit different, but I ended up making something that was usually the traditional lamppost that you find on a uh, Minecraft map, being just covering a glowstone block in trapdoors. It just looks nice, you know, I guess that's the best I could have really done. There was a few awkward um, attachments with some of the blocks I wanted to use there, including the, uh, the trap. The, um, the fence gate, which unfortunately has a big space between objects. So I couldn't use that, that's unfortunate. But as you can see now, I'm creating a, one of these sawmills. I want to make it quite a complex design, and I want there to be a lot of uh, pedestals and a lot of pylons on the sides of this sawmill to give it a lot of, I was going to say shape, but mainly to give it more detail, because I want to really over-exaggerate the size, the amount of wood these guys have, and the amount of power that this sawmill represents. Are we making a simple arch design on the front entrance? There's only going to be one entrance as the back of this sawmill will have a coal furnace that will be used to power the saw. As you can see, I'm putting in the pylons. They have a, a fairly decent amount of detail, and all of them look exactly the same. And they are numbered correctly, so that the inside of the building will have small log arches connecting each pylon to one another. And it also makes it, um, it also gives the roof some extra detail, and actually makes it look like it's keeping itself up. Now remember, this is a ruined lumber mill, which means all of this, all of this added detail will eventually be taken out, depending on what I like to do with the ruined features at the point of destroying the lumber mill. Right here I'm creating the refined wood dump. What the people that own this little sawmill here would like to do is, after the saw has actually cut the wood into wood pieces, being the refined wood, they would throw it down a, a small conveyor belt that would take it down to a lower level where it could then be wrapped up and processed. Right here, I'm creating the coal generation dump and then the coal engine soon afterwards when I make the ground floor. This is used to power the mill, the sawmill, from the bottom using hydraulics and stuff. Here, I'm creating the conveyor belt for the wooden logs that will be running into a saw. I made a few different designs for a saw, and I really couldn't make something that was the way I wanted it to go. Unfortunately, there's two blocks in the center because this is actually even instead of the uneven like I wanted it to be, which means that I can't make a proper saw design without sacrificing a little bit of chunkiness, unfortunately. Which means I have to make sort of a... It looks more like a stamper. And I wanted to put a cage in the middle of it, but it looked a bit weird once again. So that's probably the best I could have really got out of that to actually make the saw look like it's cutting through the middle of this 2x2 two two log. 2x6 two log, I believe. There's also uh, two clamps attaching itself to the log, which move along the conveyor belt. And here we have this, ladies and gentlemen, the sawmill. It's a pretty cool design, I very much enjoy it. There's lots of detail there, which is why I really wanted from this sawmill. Uh, most of this is actually inspired from buildings from Skyrim. 
sort of the traditional sawmill designs, what I really wanted to go for here. Lots of space to cut logs. Now I copied and pasted this sawmill design and put it sort of on the other side of this lumber yard right here. Mostly to add just an extra building to it, because it was a little bit empty with just having but one sawmill. Now right here I'm creating one of the guard posts. The pallet is exactly the same, although I am using brick stairs instead at the bottom just to give it just to make it look like it's got a bit more stability because it's got a very thin neck. Now, after creating that guard post, I copied and pasted two more in, near where the forest will be, where they have uh, pretty much gathered their lumber from. Now, I've also used the voxel sniper tools to generate a little bit more lands, just to add a little bit more detail to the parts where there would not be any. As you can see here, this is the refined wood platform I'm creating right now. And this is the place where they would gather up all the refined wood from the sawmills that have been dumped down those conveyor belts. And place them here to then be wrapped up and ready to be transported to parts of the kingdom. I copy and paste that platform and put it right behind where the camera is looking now. And now I'm actually creating some log piles that are fairly close by to the sawmills for easy transport to be cut into pieces. I'm now creating more roads, for this is the last bit required before I actually start to destroy the land and make it ruined. And there we have that ladies and gentlemen, currently the sawmill. Now you're probably noticing there's not a forest anywhere at the moment, this is going to be put in when the final project is actually completed and we're using some special tree designs and stuff like that after the fact which will be placed by those two towers right behind them where the logs are and I think that would be a good place to have a forest. I will be changing the grounds to a dirt and gravel sort of pallet later on at the end of this video when the ruined design has been completed. However, let's get to getting this place nice and ruined and destroyed. There's going to be some interesting features that I put in that you may not have seen on the other ones. Now what I'm doing is I'm using the standard of voxel smooth brush to very cleverly destroy parts of the buildings that are arbitrary even to myself. I'm now using the same vine design wrapping around buildings and parts of the land it's mostly to add detail, it adds a ridiculous amount of extra foliage to the area that you otherwise would not have. Now right here I'm doing something fairly interesting, I'm cutting giant holes into this particular sawmill. Now reason for this will be shown in the next clip. 
then I'm filling that with water. Now, right now, I'm actually taking a giant chunk out of one of the landscape arches, and I'm throwing it onto the ground as if it crashed its way right through the sawmill, maybe during production or something like that. And it'll be molding its way through the land, and I'm just adding in a few more roads. And I think that looks pretty good. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The ruined lumber yard looks completely different to the f original design, being the unruined design, in my opinion. As you can see there, the dirt and gravel being the areas of the forest that have been lumbered up during its reign, let's say. But I think it looks pretty cool. I'm very proud of it. It was something that I randomly did. Random inspiration to build a lumber yard very late at night and I managed to finish it. It was very cool and very happy about it. If you enjoyed it, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, press, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time for some more Twisted Grove.